Welcome! In today's video, we will focus on how to brighten the face in a portrait photo. Let's get started. There are many ways on how we can brighten faces. This video, we will do it with two HSL layers. So let's add the first HSL layer. Now we only want to target the skin colors. So let's pick the skin color with the picker. Next step is to modify the range to have a better fit. To better see what we are doing, let's maximize the saturation and the hue shift. What we want to achieve here is to get as much skin covered in blue. Once we find the sweet spot, restore the shift and the saturation. Now we can play with the luminosity and saturation. I prefer in the first HSL to use HSV, as lightening here works much better in this mode. Let's get a closer look and fine tune it. Now it's time to add the second HSL. Again, the same trick, max out shift and saturation. Try to get the skin covered as much as possible. Once done, move the lightness and saturation until you get the correct brightness you're looking for in the face. Let's have a closer look. Looks good to me. We only want to apply this brightening to the face. So let's group the two layers and apply a mask to it. The mask is by default white. Let's invert it with Ctrl I. And now we can paint with a soft white brush to the face and the skin. As the HSL layers are targeting the skin mostly, you don't need to be super precise, but you will need to make some corrections. This can be easily done by painting with black on the mask. For quick switching between black and white, you can use the X key. Let's have a look at the before and after. Much better. In this video, the effect is a bit too much. I have deliberately kept this way for better demonstration purposes. However, in a real situation, you can adjust the effect and make it more natural by lowering the opacity of the group. This wraps today's tutorial on brightening up a face. As mentioned earlier, there are many, many ways of doing this, and there is no good or bad way. If you know what your tools are, you can decide per case what the best tool is for the job. If you are interested, you can continue watching me finishing up the photo by adding a couple of curve adjustment layers. I believe a more neon bluish look will suit this photo better. Also, Darkening the background would suit our initial goal, making the subject pop up more. Thanks for watching.